Hello everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Gaytree Persaud. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. We want to warn you, the images in this first story are graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. U.S. intelligence officials are working to identify the Russian units involved in committing massacres in Ukraine. And a group of amateur drone pilots are helping. Again, a warning, these images are graphic. Images from a drone show dead bodies lying strewn across a highway west of Kyiv. Some bodies are still next to the wreckage of their vehicles. And dogs are roaming around looking to eat off the dead carcasses. This aerial image shows a group of cars driving down the highway when they encounter Russian forces. One car stops, the driver gets out, raises his hands above his head, and he is shot and killed on the spot. The drone team also says their aerial footage has helped them scope out and take out Russian vehicles. Vehicles that would have been impossible to spot from the ground. The Russian government continues to deny targeting civilians. They say the allegations are fake and propaganda. Today, the United Nations General Council suspended Russia from the Human Rights Council. The NATO Secretary General is now warning the Russian invasion of Ukraine could wage on for years. And that's because Russian President Vladimir Putin still wants all of Ukraine. The U.S. now believes Russian forces have completely withdrawn from areas near Kyiv and Cherniv to reconsolidate and regroup in Belarus and in Russia. The Pentagon says it is impossible to know how long the war will last. But they believe Ukraine can win. This next story involves how much you'll be spending, specifically on gas and interest rates. The first is oil executives won't commit to ending buybacks. Buybacks is when oil companies buy some of their own shares. That reduces supply of normal investors, increases demand, raises share prices, oil executives get more money, while consumers continue to pay more at the gas pump. The second thing happening that affects your wallet involves interest rates. The Federal Reserve released monthly data on consumer credit rates today. That's for things like new cars and personal loans. And Freddie Mac released weekly mortgage rates. Since those numbers are baselines, the Fed is thinking about hiking interest rates again.
According to a new Kaiser Family Foundation poll, most Americans say they are not entirely returned to normal life. 42% say they are doing some, but not all of the activities they did before the pandemic. 17% say they are doing very few of those activities. And then there's the mask, the one thing that continues to divide people. 59% said people should continue wearing masks in public places. 48% say the federal government should extend the mask requirement on airplanes and other mass transit. What about you? Has your life returned to normal? Are you doing most of the things you used to do before the pandemic? Or are you still a little cautious? For me, it's tough. I'm trying to get back to normal, but still there's a little paranoia involved. You know, sometimes I have to think positive about it. And I do miss the activities of going out and meeting people. Like swimming, going shopping. But now the pandemic made me a little more careful, especially since I have children. The Board of Governors for the Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences was supposed to meet in two weeks on April 18th to discuss sanctions against actor Will Smith for slapping comedian Chris Rock at this year's Oscars. But the board decided to move the meeting up saying it is in everyone's best interest to handle the situation sooner rather than later. Smith has already resigned from the Academy, but the board says they're considering additional disciplinary proceedings for violations of the Academy's standards of conduct. Cracker Jack is debuting new packaging that will celebrate women in sports. The Cracker Jill series celebrates the women who break down barriers in sports. Five special edition bags will display five different women. The company has also pledged to donate $200,000 to the Women's Sports Foundation. So, how can you get your hands on the new bags? They will be available at baseball parks nationwide this year. Or, you can get one of them by making a donation of $5 or more here at this website to the Women's Sports Foundation, which advocates for equality in sports. Girl power. Pour yourself a cold one. Because it's time to celebrate the world's most widely consumed alcoholic beverage. Today, April 7th, is National Beer Day. Beer is my favorite. Did you know beer is the third most popular drink worldwide, with water and tea coming in at number one and number two? It is also one of the world's oldest drinks possibly dating back to 9500 BC when cereal was first farmed. There are so many different types of beer. Light beer, 
lager, Belgian, porter, ale, you name it. So here we go. Grab a cold one and toast to one of America's favorite beverages. Enjoy. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. Then this Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, join us for a live panel of diverse guests to discuss the hot topics of the week. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And did you know you can watch Sign One News on television, on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku? Have a great night.